Hi guys, welcome to another video. And today I'm in Perthshire doing the Glen Lion Horseshoe. And my fact of the day is that this Glen, Glen Lion, is the longest Glen in Scotland. So don't say I don't give you information <laughs> in my videos. And this route includes four minerals, so I think it takes about seven or eight hours and is about 11 miles long. You can see that the fog and a little cloud is still here, but I think it's due to burn off. There is a reason that I chose these four Monroes. I had a look at my Monroe map and I haven't done a lot of the South Monroes, so I'm gonna have to travel a bit further afield or I'm gonna be left with them all till last. So that's why I chose these ones for today. The sunrise this morning from Inverness was amazing. So I was hopeful that the weather was gonna be a bit better than this, but the sun's actually trying to break through and I'm sure this mist and cloud is gonna burn off by the time I get to the first Monroe. After walking a little further, I finally broke through the clouds and was treated to the stunning cloud inversion. I thought I'd made it to the top of this Monroe, just about to touch the cairn. That's a full summit. <laughs> I've still got another little bit to go to get to the top. But not a bad view behind. I think my neck's actually getting sore from turning around and looking at it all the time. There we go, the top of Car and Gorm, finally. And this one's 1,029 metres high. That means the Blue Rocky Hill. And this will be my 78th Monroe. I'm not too familiar with the Monroes around here, but I'll try and show you some of the views. Over this way is the lawyer's group to the south. I can't see much in the cloud just now. Towards this way, I think that's Loch Rannoch down there. The cloud's coming in pretty quick just as I try to film. That always happens. What a view that was looking back there. Hopefully get some more of that as I make my way along to the next Monroes. Here's the second Monroe of today, just there, not far. Sheep just running away from me there. I think it's just worth mentioning as well that stalking season is just coming. I was in touch with this estate before I came and it doesn't start till mid-August and it really gets going September to October. And this estate is quite funny because it's unavoidable that you're gonna push the deer about by doing the Monroes. So I think they do advise that you stay away from these Monroes during that period or just stick to the ridge line and don't come into the quarries. One other problem they seem to have is parking as well. As I don't know if you've seen at the start, but there's only about five or six spaces and in summer it gets busy. And I think the road is a clear way it's called, so you can't park on the verge. People have been issued with parking tickets for doing so. So it's best to turn up early for these ones. En route to the top, there were these handy metal fence posts, which would aid navigation in bad weather. This is the top of Miel Garav, and it's a slightly odd looking cairn with all the metal. I think it's the leftover fence posts have been piled up. And this means the rough, rounded hill, and it is pretty rough and rocky. I think it's 968 metres, and it's number 79 for me. The views are still very similar down to Loch Rannoch. I still can't see Shahalin yet, still in the clouds. I 
I'm about halfway now to the third Monroe of the Glen Lion Horseshoe. It's been a great day so far, and it's nice and easy walking on this grassy ridge. The weather's not looking so great to the south, and there's some menacing clouds coming in. Even though it looks like I'm at the same height as the second Monroe, I'm sure this is just a Monroe top of the third one. Still quite a way to go to the next Monroe. And it turns out I was right. This was the Monroe top, Milavar, just between the two Monroes. Getting close now to the rocky top of this Monroe. There was a rocky outcrop just next to the summit cairn, which it wasn't necessary to go out this way. I think it was well worth the visit, as it probably gave you the best views of the day. That's the third Monroe of the Glen Lion Horseshoe. This one's called Karn Merig, and it's 1,042 metres high, so the highest of today. And it means a rusty, red, rocky hill. God, that's a mouthful. This marks my eighth Monroe. I have taken ages to get here, probably seven hours, and I've still got another Monroe to do. I've just been plodding along, obviously videoing and taking loads of photos. And you don't have to concentrate as much when you're walking here. There's not so many dangers about the place. So I'm going to crack on to the fourth and final today, which doesn't actually look too far away. I'll just show you it just now. So yeah, I better crack on to the final mineral. Nearly at the fourth and final Monroe, which is just ahead of me here. The fourth Monroe today is Craig Vore, which is 981 metres. I think it means the big crag. For some reason, on my map, it's actually called something different. So I'll need to do some digging and find out which one is actually right. So yeah, not long to go now. It turns out that this Monroe used to be known as Craig Vore on older maps, but has a new name, Miel Nanagan, on newer maps. Once I got to the top of this Monroe, I finally got the view of Shehalian. So that's it for the Glen Lion Horseshoe, and this is the fourth Monroe. And this takes my total up to 81, so that leaves 19 to get before the end of the year. So I should be able to hit that target, as long as nothing goes wrong. I've been lucky with the weather, it has forecast rain, but I better not speak too soon because it looks a bit menacing behind me. So I better give these a rating out of 10, and I think I'll give them 7 out of 10. The views have been better than expected, and it's a nice easy walk as well. Once you're up on the ridge, it's easy going. I'm not sure where I'm going to go next. I need to start going south more, so I'm going to be left them all till last. And the likes of today, that's a five hour drive there and back. I don't want to have to do that every time or I'll get pretty fed up. So that's going to be it for this video and hope you'll join me for some more Monroes in the next one.